What's up you guys, it's Ashling. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of powder foundation. I don't think I've ever done a review of a powder foundation on my channel before. I have tried several powder foundations in my life. I love the Benefit one. I have a Bare Minerals one that I really like. There's a few that I really, really enjoy, but this is the first affordable one that I've ever got my hands on and I'm really keen to try it out. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a Powder. I got the exact same shade as my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This comes in 16 shades in the US. In Ireland, I think there's like six shades, maybe eight. I'm gonna read a couple of claims about this foundation, then we're gonna pop it on our face. We're gonna do a wear test and see how we get on. So yeah, in Ireland and the UK, we have six shades. Woo, let's go crazy with the shades. So crappy. I am 140 golden beige. I am 140 golden beige in my liquid foundation. This foundation, the liquid one is one of my all-time favorites. I've spoken about it before. I will link down below my full review of it just if you guys are curious. Obviously, you guys are probably recognizing the packaging from TikTok. It's like blown up over there. I think that's why it's so difficult to get your hands on. But also, it wasn't available in Ireland. I think it came out in the US in December, correct me if I'm wrong. In Ireland, it's still not available at our drugstore counters, but you can order it like I did. In the UK, I know it's available from Boots, and also Boohoo have it too, which is really random, but it's extremely expensive on Boohoo. I think it was like 20 euro, and I think I paid maybe 14 for this, maybe 15. For some reason, they've whacked up the price of this. It's probably because it is TikTok famous. So anyway, what does it say about it on the website? Want lasting coverage with a matte finish? A one step foundation in a light powder that gives you a lasting coverage of a liquid foundation yet mattifies like a powder. For flawless skin that looks fresh hour after hour, water, sweat and heat resistant. We will test the water resistant at the end of the day. You guys have seen me do that before. I just splash some water on my face. We'll see how we get on. A long wear powder that stays put all day up to 24 hour wear. Doesn't give me a whole lot of claims. It does say that it is sweat proof, waterproof resistant. Now I'm gonna say straight off the bat, I have oily skin. I guess if you're looking to try this out, you possibly have oily skin too. I do normally say that like powder foundations are definitely more suitable to oily skin, but if you have dry skin, what do you think of it? Do you think it works? Leave it down in the comment section below because it will help other people maybe who stumble upon this video who have dry skin and maybe want to try it. But I'm gonna give it a go today and we're gonna see how we get on. Now I'm starting my review super late today because I'm only on my lunch break. Well, I was gonna say 12 a.m. No, it's not, it's 12 p.m. So I may not be able to try this out for 12 hours, but I'll get as close to midnight as possible. I am now in my eighth month of pregnancy, so I am a little bit more tired these days. So just bear with me if I don't keep up till the full 12 hours, but we will give this as best a go as possible. The first thing I will say is I have filled in around my eyebrows and I pop concealer on like a little blemish that I have here and just around my nose and then a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna pop a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. Any cream products or liquid products, now is the time to apply them because you can't apply them on top of powder. It just, they don't go. It just mixes into a cake. It's not cute. Apply the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. So I'm done with all my concealing and now I'm gonna pop this on and I'm gonna take it on a flat top brush. Normally I would do like half with a sponge, half with a brush. I can't do that today because a sponge is gonna be wet. I don't wanna pop it into this powder product, obviously. On the bottom here, you get the sponge and a little mirror. We're not gonna use that because I don't really like those type of sponges. So I'm just gonna pop my brush into this and pick up some of the product. Just coat my brush with it. I haven't set my under eye concealer yet, so I'm just gonna kind of avoid that area. This is extremely fragrant. Wow. It smells super perfumey. I actually don't mind the smell of it because it smells similar to the foundation. It's not like Huda Beauty perfume vibes. But if you're sensitive to fragrance, you might not love this. The only area that I'm kind of a bit concerned of at the moment is just where I put the cream products on. I feel like it's just kind of clinging to those areas. I probably didn't even need to put anything like that on. Wow, you can just see the coverage from this. <coughs> I don't mind the scent of it, but it's just quite overwhelming. It's not that it smells bad, it's just that it's, it's just that it's kind of choking me. There is half done with the 
powder and then this half we have put nothing on. I am just kind of concerned about, like I said, where I put the concealer on. It just kind of has clung a little bit. So perhaps I should have gone in with a powder concealer, maybe like a Bare Minerals or something. I just do feel like it's just a little bit blotchy. I don't know what that looks like on camera. Everywhere else it looks pretty decent. So I'm gonna fill, fill in the other side. I'm gonna apply this to the other side now and then we'll have a little bit of a discussion. So I do like the look of this powder foundation on my skin. However, I do have a few comments to make in regards to it. I think it's covered up my skin pretty decently, you guys can see that. This looks like a liquid foundation, the coverage I'm getting from this. My Bare Minerals powder foundation, which I absolutely adore, doesn't even give me this much coverage. The only kind of issues that I'm having is just where it clung, like I said, to the concealer. And I'm kind of glad I avoided the under eye area. If you are using this and you're applying concealer to areas, set it down straight away with a powder and then go in with this. So I made that kind of error myself. But so far I'm really, really, really liking this and I'm kind of blown away with the coverage that I've gotten from this. It feels really smooth on my skin. It's not drying at all. That is me up close. You can kind of see where I'm talking about. Just a little bit of clinging and along here, it kind of looks a little bit patchy. And then just a little bit here, it looks a teeny bit patchy, but I mean, in general, it looks really decent on my skin. Like I quite like this on my skin. For something really subtle, natural, kind of lightweight and not really something heavy. Definitely like a summer product. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna pop back to you guys and see what the foundation is wearing like. So far, I like it. I wouldn't be completely and utterly like sold on it at this moment but I will give it a little bit more of a wear test and we'll see how we get on throughout the day. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So guys, it's three o'clock and I thought I would come back and show you what the makeup looks like. I'm actually really shook at how lovely this looks and it looks more like a liquid foundation. Like if someone told me that they just put liquid foundation on and it looked like this, I would well believe them. I actually really like the feel of this on my skin. It's so lightweight. Again, it's super, super, super soft. I feel like it looks a little bit better once I blend it in like my contour and blush and my eye makeup, which I was not <laughs> expecting to go this extreme with eye makeup today, I'm not gonna lie. I had like a whole plan of like subtle light makeup and then this eye makeup comes out, but look, sure, hey ho. I don't really have anything to say kind of after four hours of wear, like there's no wearing down on my face, it's still a little bit of patchiness, but we won't talk about that. But I just think it looks really uniform, really nice on my skin, I really like it. I have no complaints at this time of the day. What do you guys think of it? Let me know. I'll come back later on, around eight hours, just to see what it's wearing like and how it's holding up. I'll talk to you guys in a few more hours. Hey guys, so it is the second checkup of the day. It's just gone 7.47. So we're just shy of eight hours. I'm actually kind of surprised looking at it now. I can see that I am quite oily. So I will say that much about my face. I'm quite oily around my T-zone area and definitely on my chin I can see the shine from here. Looking in the mirror, everything's kind of remained on my face, like my contour, my blush and highlight. But in general, after eight hours, I think this looks really good, especially for a powder product. Because I do often find with powder foundations, like particularly the Bare Minerals one, that it will only give me about six hours of wear, whereas this is on eight hours. And it still looks pretty decent. And I don't think it's like breaking down. Is it holding back my oils? Yeah, like it. I, I know I am oily, but the oils have not broken down the foundation in the areas where I am oily. I can see that in between my brows and my chin, there is a little bit of oil, but this foundation has held up. So if it's waterproof, sweat proof resistant, that will remain to be seen because I will do that at the end of the night just to check in. There's been a teeny bit of wearing off on my nose where my glasses are. I wonder, could you top this up? I don't know, will I try? I'm just wondering like if you were feeling like this, at this hour of the day, if you just topped it up a bit, what, what would happen? Like, would the natural oils of my face mix with the powder and kind of cake or something? I'm just gonna do a little bit on the jawline, just where it's kind of rubbed off a little bit. I don't think it has caked. 
I would 100% wear this as an everyday foundation or something like weight, even in the summertime, if you just wanted to wear something light on the skin, because this actually feels like I'm wearing nothing on my skin. Like it doesn't feel heavy or cakey or anything like that on my Is skin. It? But I think it looks generally really, really good on my skin. It's covered up any imperfections or kind of blemishes on my skin, which is very welcomed. I feel like this can be used on like quick days when you just want like a quick application or you don't want to spend a long time on doing your base makeup. But yeah, up close, I think it looks good. Anyway guys, I'm gonna check in with you in another few hours see what this is looking like. So far, I'm pretty pleased. What's up guys? It is the end of the night, actually to be exact. It is 12.48, <laughs> way past my bedtime. I actually cannot believe that I lasted this long. I actually just can't wait to take these eyelashes off and take this makeup off and just go to sleep. Then I would do my final check-in with you guys just to show you what the foundation is looking like. Okay, I'm noticing a huge difference. Obviously, the last time I did a check-in was eight and the eight hour mark. And this is four hours later. So we are wearing the foundation, like I said, for 12 hours. It's not looking really bad. Like after 12 hours of wear with a powder foundation, it doesn't look half bad on my face at all. I definitely think around the eight hour mark is max wear for this foundation. For me personally, it's not broken down by my oils or anything like that, but it's just kind of, you know, faded and it's just kind of worn away. Now I haven't been doing anything extreme obviously because I haven't been anywhere. So I haven't been out in any extreme weather or anything like that. I do think it looks okay, but like I said, eight hours and I would be kind of done with this foundation. So you can kind of see my skin up close. I hope that the light is not washing me out too much. You can kind of just see where it's gone. Just a teeny bit blotchy here. Definitely blotchy on my chin, like around here and a little bit of wearing away and blotchiness just on this side. Not so much on my forehead. It has sank in just a little bit to one of my fine lines that's there, which always kind of has everything sinking into it. There is no kind of like sinking into any pores and I have no primer or anything on my skin today, if I didn't mention that already. It is just kind of like naturally wearing down on my skin, but it doesn't look horrendous. It just doesn't look amazing. It has worn off around my nose as well which kind of happened in my last check-in. I do have a few pros and cons of this foundation. Obviously the major pro of this is the convenience of this. It's not messy, it's just a powder, pop it on your brush and away you go. I love the coverage from it. I do have cons. The first one being the price, which is kind of an unusual for me because I never really kind of give out about prices of drugstore products. But I feel like 17 to 20 euro is pretty steep. Liquid foundation product of this costs in Ireland about 11 euro. So it's just a little bit more pricey. And I don't know if that's anything to do with just it being viral on TikTok at the moment or what the story is, but I just was a little bit kind of blown away by the price range for a drugstore product. But anyway, we'll leave that aside. So I will have an update on this product in a couple of weeks time. Just keep an eye out because it'll be in my end of month hits and misses video. Like, so probably March is hits and misses and I will talk a little bit more about it. Okay, so I'm just gonna splash some water on my face and see, does it take off any of the foundation? Okay, I don't think my face can get any more soaked than what it already is, it's like dripping. Yeah, like the droplets haven't really washed it off, but there is just a little bit of powder coming off on my fingertips, but realistically, you ain't gonna get your face this soaked. So I would say that this is definitely sweat proof. And one thing I will say is if you are caught in the rain, at least you know your foundation's not really gonna like drip off down your face because I gave this a good soaking and it still remained intact. I avoided my eyes just in case you're wondering why they're not like streaming down my face. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the little splash test as well. And you guys can let me know if you've tried this out, what you think of it. Again, I personally think this is more targeted at oily skin, but I do want to hear your feedback if you've dry skin on what you thought of it. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. I am so ready to hit the hay. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye guys.